Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working on largest number. So in this problem you're given a list of non-negative integers nums and you want to arrange them in a way that they form the largest number and return it. Since the result may be very large you need to return a string instead of an integer. And so we have some examples. So we have 10 and 2. And so for 10 and 2 we can either write 10 and then 2 or we can write 2 and then 10. So obviously we're going to want to go with this one. So that's the one we're going to go with. Okay and then what about for the next one? So for the next one, if you think about it logically, what what are these? Which of these would you want to go first? Well, you're probably going to want the nine to go first, right? Because nine is the biggest number. So now, what what's the next thing you want to have? So you're probably going to want to have a five, and now we have a three, thirty, and thirty-four. So if you think about it, for three, thirty, and thirty-four, how what are the different ways we could do it? Well, we could have like a three first. So we could have 3, and then we could have 34, 30, or we could have 3, 30, 34. But if you think about it, for a number, the, the numbers that tell you like how big it is, the importance is going to be this is the most important number, right? So something like 3, 4, 0, 0, 0 is actually bigger than 3, 3, and then, th or th this, this could be like, if this number is below four, like this is like two or three or whatever, these last three digits don't matter. This number is this number on the top is going to be bigger, right? So even if this is like nine nine nine, this first one is bigger. So if all of these are going to have the same starting digit, you want the second digit to be the biggest. So when you have three thirty and thirty four, if you want the second digit to be the biggest, you're going to want to put the four first. You're going to want to use the thirty four first. Then we have three and three, and we have three and thirty. And so they're all they're both going to start with three, but then you want the second digit to be bigger than the last one, right? So, so you could either write three o three or three thirty. So you're obviously going to want three thirty, and then now we combine that to the rest of it. So we're going to have three thirty four and three thirty, and that's our answer. And so let's try to build off of that for intuition on how to solve this. So essentially, we now know that we now know a couple things. One, right? We want the biggest number first. That's the first part. So let's actually make this a little bit bigger because this is going to be kind of hard to see. So let's actually do this and let's make the font extra large. And then let's write in here. So we want to maximize digits from left to right, right? Like we'd rather have a bigger digit in the front and smaller digits later because something like nine and all zeros is bigger than seven and then whatever is after it, right? So we're gonna maximize digits from left to right. So that part is kind of straightforward, right? Like we want our number to be, but we can't just do a number comparison, right? Like for, we can't just do, we can't just like sort this in terms of like biggest to smallest number or something. That wouldn't really work, right? And then we also have to maintain things that are together. So 34 has to be printed as 34. We can't like divide that up. So if we have something like 9 and 19, 19 is technically bigger. So we can't just say like, okay, let's just get the numbers from smallest to biggest and then do something there. So we need some kind of sorting mechanism that will tell us what to do, right? And so there is a way to do that and it's a little bit tricky. And so this problem does introduce something that maybe is kind of rare in interview problems, but it is good to know. And that's how to, how to make a sorting function with using multiple parameters, right? So no, most sorting functions that you make are just going to be like key lambda, and then you just use like the first value or the second value or something. But what if you actually want to compare two values in some way? And you can't just compare them by like getting the value of each one. You can't just say like, well, just give me the value and whatever's bigger. Like what if I actually want to compare them together? And I want to actually take two numbers as inputs, take numbers A and B as inputs, do some kind of comparison and then figure out what needs to go first. I can't just like take the value. And so we can actually do this. So let's say we have two numbers. Like let's say we have nine and we have 95. Well, we want the nine to come first, right? Because we want this to be 995. And so you can't just compare them. But is there a way to just check what number is bigger? And actually there is. So what we can do is we can convert these numbers to strings. So let's say all these numbers are strings now. 
And then when we compare two numbers, we can just say, why don't we just try to actually make both of them and just see which one is bigger? So for example, we can try, okay, let's do a plus b string wise. So a plus b, let's say a is nine and b is 95 here. And we're trying to figure out like which one's bigger. So a plus b is gonna be nine, nine, five. And then we have b plus a, which is gonna be nine, five, nine. And after we make both of these strings, we can just compare either the string values or we can tur turn them to integers and just compare that, right? So we can concatenate the string and then we can just compare the string value. And then obviously 995 is going to be bigger than 959. And both of these strings are going to be the same length. So you're not going to have an issue of like, you know, 95 being bigger than 9. Because if you compare these with strings, they would also be like that. So you can just add them like a string make a string and then figure out what you need to return. And so now let's talk about what we actually need now that we know like how to compare them. Like we can turn them to strings and we can we can just actually try a plus b and b plus a and then figure out which one's bigger. Well, how do we do that in a comparator function? So there is actually a comparator function that I'll show you later, but essentially what it takes in is it takes a and b and then the way you want the way you want to return your output in Python is you want to return negative 1 if a comes before b, like if you want it to, or 1 if a comes after b, or 0 if a equals b. That's how that's how a normal sorting comparator works, and it works the same way, I think it works the same way under the hood for like a, like a lambda function or something. So if you want a to come before b, you need to return negative 1. If you want a to come after b, you need to return 1. And so now that we have that, let's just figure out what we do. So let's say our A, once again, is 9 and our B is 95. Or actually, let's not use values here. Let's more like write kind of like some pseudocode. So if we want, we, we can just say like if A plus B is greater, or actually it's going to be less than, right? Yeah, if A plus B is less than B plus A, meaning this is the order, like this is the order we want. Like this needs to come for A needs to come. Uh, actually, sorry, sorry. I think we have, I think I have it the other way here. So in our output, we actually want to return the bigger number first, essentially. Like we want our string to have the biggest numbers first. So if we have like nine and 95, we want it to be in nine and 95 format, right? Like we want, we want all our strings to be from left to right is like what we want to have, right? So for example, for this, uh, let's go back here. For this, we want to ideally have an array that looks like nine, five, 34, three, and 30. And these are all gonna be string. This is, this is what we want, right? We want the bigger number to be on the left or not the bigger number, but you know, the thing that leads to the bigger output. So going back, let's let's actually figure out what this needs to be now. So let's get rid of all of this. So remember, if we want if we want if a is bigger than b, or like if we if we want our output in a b, then we want to return negative one. If we want our output in b a, then we want to return one. And so now, how do we do that, right? So essentially, what we have to say is if a b is bigger than b a meaning this is bigger, then we need to return negative one because then our output will be in format a comma b, right? Because like I said, in a sorting function, if you want a to come before b, then you return negative one. And then if you want b to come after a, then you can return one for the other case. And also if they're the same, you can, sorry, this should be one. If they're the same, you can also return one because it doesn't, the order doesn't matter, right? Like if you have nine and nine and you want to figure out, do I want nine and nine or nine and nine or something? It doesn't really matter. It's the same. Okay. So once again, let me explain that one more time. So in the sorting function, if you want A to come before B, you need to return negative one as your output. You need to take A and B and return negative one. If you want B to come before A, then you need to return one. And so we want, we want, a to be bigger or quote unquote bigger. We, if, if we want, if AB is bigger than BA, then we need to return AB, right? And if we want to return AB, we need to return negative one because we want A to come before B. And so let's kind of look 
and see what will that what will that do essentially for our we we can walk through our problem I guess and then we can like sort these but essentially what's going to happen is what's going to be the biggest value so the biggest value is going to be nine because whenever you have nine with anything else like let's say we're just comparing nine and five I'm not going to go through like the entire sort but let's say we're comparing nine and five this is a and this is b and then we'll compare a few values so a b is going to be ninety five. And BA is going to be 59. So AB will be bigger than BA. So we need to return negative 1, assuming 9 comes before 5. right? So A is the value on the left, B is the value on the right, and so on. And we'll do one more maybe. So we'll do like the 30 and 34. So let's assume they're in this order for now. So this is A, this is B. So AB will be 30, 34. And then BA will be 34, 30, right? So we obviously want BA. So if we want BA, then we want to return 1 because we want them to swap. So if you want to return AB, you do negative 1. And then if you want to return BA, you do 1. Or at least that's the order. And so that's pretty much it for how to make the comparator function. And then I will quickly show you the code. And so the code is actually all written up just because I don't want to look up like how to do it. But I'll explain it. So essentially what happens is first we turn every single number into a string. So if you do map string, and string is a function, it will convert every single number into a string. And then we want to turn that into a list because we want to call like sort on it. You can't call sort on a map in Python. So we're essentially turning every number into a string. You can do it another way. You can do a for loop or whatever you want. Then here's our comparator function, which is the AB. So you could just, you could just change this into AB if you wanted to. So that's what we said. So if A plus b is greater than b plus a and a plus b meaning a b right we're just combining the two strings so a plus b means string a concatenated with string b so if a b is greater than b a then we want to return negative one because we want we want a b we want to preserve the order otherwise if b a is greater than a b then we want to we want to swap them so if you want to swap them you return one so one will swap, negative one will keep it the same. And then essentially what you need to do is you need to do a sort and you need to pass in a key. And there is this uh, function cmp to key, which takes the comparator function. And then that comparator function could take multiple values. So that's how you would do it. You know, normally you have some kind of lambda expression where you're just checking for one value. But here you actually need to take both values and you need to do a custom comparison here. And then afterwards, so now we have, now, we, now we're going to have like an array, like if you look at it for this example, we're going to have an array like this, right? It's going to be like 9, and then we're going to have 5, and then we're going to have 34, and then we're going to have 30. Uh, actually, it's going to be 3, actually. Yeah, 3, and then 30. So this is what it's going to look like now. So now we need to actually join this, but there is one more, like, case, I guess, and that's you can have... You can have leading zeros, I think. Yeah, so you can have leading zeros. It might also just be like all zeros, I believe. Yeah, like this could literally be all zeros. So if you're not, if your whole thing is zeros, you don't want to return, you know, string zero, 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 zero. So what you need to do is you need to get rid of leading zeros. And the way to get rid of leading zeros is just turn the string. So first of all, you join the array. So that would give you the full string. Then you turn it into an integer, and that would get rid of the leading zero. So if you have something like this, and you turn that into an integer, that would just give you zero. And then you turn it back into a string to give you a string with no leading zeros. Uh, but yeah, and then we can try that uh, with the A's and the B's. Let's check the efficiency and things like that. Yeah, so it is pretty efficient, and it's a super rare, it's super rare problem. But if you did want to learn how to actually make a custom sort function, which I've actually used one of these recently in, in actually one of the apps that I made. Uh, so this was in JS, this wasn't in Python, but you will have some sorts that you need to actually sort by more, th by more than just saying, like, give me some value, you know, like in a normal Lambda function where you're just saying, like, Lambda, and, you know, X, and then I think it's actually like this or something. I don't remember the exact format, you know, where it's like X0 or X plus 5 or however you're doing it, like sometimes you are actually going to need to take multiple values. And so this is the way you would do it with multiple values. But yeah, that's going to be it for this problem. Hopefully you liked it. And if you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.